Kingdom Kids, it's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let's keep learning our lesson series called Faith in Action. Remember, that means doing what we believe in. Okay, so far, we have learned that we can put our faith in action when we take care of others and when we pray to God and worship God. Now, we have learned a lot from Elijah. Well, we are going to hear about another prophet, and he also learned from Elijah. So let's read about it. Our Bible story comes from the books, <laughs> books of First Kings, chapter nineteen, verses nineteen to twenty-one, and the book of Second Kings. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. Okay, you can pause this video and read from your Bible or a Bible app, and you can also listen along. Okay, I'm going to read from the Beginner's Bible. This is called Chariot of Fire. Chariot of Fire. A man named Elisha was plowing the field. God chose Elisha to be Elijah's helper. <laughs> okay. Elisha and Elijah. This is Elisha. He's plowing the field. You see? Okay. Over the years, they traveled together. Elijah and Elisha. They told many people about God's love. This is Elijah and this is Elisha. We know that because Elisha is bald. He doesn't have any hair. You see? Right on top. There's no hair. <laughs> One day, they stopped beside a river. Elijah took off his coat and struck the water with it. The river opened up. They walked across on a dry path. He struck the water and he went, and they walked across it. Do you remember someone else in the Bible who parted the waters? Who was it? Moses. <laughs> yeah. Elijah was getting older. God was preparing to take him to heaven. Elijah asked Elisha if there was anything he wanted. Elisha answered, I want a double portion of the spirit God has given you. So he goes, what do you want? He goes, I want a double portion of the spirit God gave you. Let's see what happens next. Suddenly, a fiery chariot pulled by fiery horses came down from the sky. It separated the two of them and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind to be with God. Elijah's coat fell to the ground. Elisha picked it up. He struck the water with it and the water parted. parted. <laughs> then Elijah knew Elisha knew God had granted his request. Okay. Ta -da! <laughs> Fiery chariot. So, Elijah, he didn't die. He just went up to heaven. Isn't that cool? That's amazing. Okay, so Elisha. Let's try not to be confused. Okay, let's say Elijah together. Ready? Elijah. And then Elisha. Let's say that together. Elisha. <laughs> okay, Elisha was Elijah's helper. Their names sound so similar. <laughs> okay. But Elisha was also a prophet and he came after Elijah. 
So Elijah helped Elisha um, and taught him how to be a prophet, how to love and follow and listen to God. So have you ever been somebody's helper? Maybe um, at school or at home? So Elisha learned from Elijah how to be a good prophet. And Elisha helped Elijah tell other people about God. <laughs> so from Elijah and Elisha, we can learn that we can put our faith in action when we tell others about God. Yeah, so that's not always easy, right? Because people don't always want to listen. They don't want to hear about God or they don't want to hear about Jesus or maybe they heard it all and they don't believe it. So it's not always easy to tell other people about God. But do you remember our Bible memory verse? Our Bible memory verse says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. So, it's that time you are going to say that by yourself. You ready? I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Good job! So, that means that Jesus gives us the strength to tell other people about God and about Him, about Jesus. Elijah and Elisha saw many miracles because they love God and they follow God, they obey God. Elisha even saw Elijah get taken to heaven by a chariot, a chariot on, of fire on fire and horses on fire, heavenly horses and chariots, right? He, he didn't die. Elijah didn't die. Just whoop, went up to heaven. And that would be amazing to see. But you know what's also amazing? When we tell other people about God, we might be able to see them start to love God and follow God. And that is amazing. That is amazing because that means that one day they get to go to heaven too, like we do. Isn't that great? We can all be in heaven if we love and follow God, if we believe in Jesus. So I have a challenge for you, and it's a simple one. Your challenge is to tell a friend that God loves them. That's it. God loves you. Just tell one friend that God loves them. So put your faith in action by telling someone about God. Hey, let's pray together. God, thank you so much for loving us. Jesus, thank you so much for dying on the cross and coming back to life so that you can save us from our sins. Please help us put our faith in action by telling our family and our friends, our neighbors, anyone, that you love them, that Jesus, you came to save them. We pray that you give them hearts that are willing to listen and hearts that are willing to love you and follow you. We also thank you, God, because we believe by faith that you're healing our world. And we want to say that we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> okay. Go do your very, very, very simple challenge. Put your faith in action and tell someone that God loves them. I will see you online next week. God bless.